The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. All right, back in the Domino's postgame report as Carson Newman falls in the South Atlantic Conference Championship game for the Wingate Bulldogs by a final score of 28-13. to 13. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head football coach Ashley Ingram. Ashley, in the first meeting this season, you had a lot of things go right and go your way, and it added up to a win. Yep. Today, it felt like a few little things went wrong. Break down what happened today against the Bulldogs. Well, they, they've got a very good football team. Um, very experienced, older team, especially on defense. I thought our defense played their hearts yeah. out. I thought they played great. I thought our guys on offense played hard, but we just didn't have enough for them. And, you know, they came to our place, we beat them. We came to their place, they beat us. Uh, tip your hat to them, it's a good good group. It's a long wait to Saturday at 6 p.m. in the NCAA selection show, but certainly with a win over one of the top two teams in the Super Region and that September 21st win over Wingate, you certainly feel your resume is strong enough uh, with nine wins to make the field of 28. Uh, how proud are you of this team, even with the lawsuit today, to be in this position in year one? Well, this team is nine and two and lost on the road twice. We've had, you know, obviously a lot of issues at quarterback. The toughness of this team, couldn't be more proud of them. I, if this team isn't a playoff team, who is? We just yeah. beat Wingate, who may end up being the number one seed. Yeah. You know, it's according to what happens tonight at Valdosta, Austin, but they're a two seed at the bare minimum. We're the only team to beat them. We're nine and two. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, long wait again till 6 p.m. on Sunday night to actually find out how it breaks down. Uh, in this one, uh, you've told me uh, a few times that, hey, I'm always going to defer the opening kickoff because it gives you a chance to go two for one. Right. Well, Wingate gave you a taste of your own medicine today. Felt like that was the separator uh, for the Bulldogs in this game. How impactful was that swing end of the second quarter, start of the third, uh, where they rattled off a little 10-0 run after you tied the game at six? Well, it, it was huge, but you know the, the reason they're doing that is they know how good they are on defense. Yeah and they wanted to start the game and get a stop and then obviously get the ball in the second half. So uh, a tip of the hat to them. Coach Jordan's done a great job. They've got a good football team. Um, they were better than us tonight. Uh, tough to move the ball yep. uh, on that front. Uh, is it just a matter of experience for the Bulldogs? Yeah, defensively, they, they basically played the same defense that quite a few people have played against us. Uh, they just pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what moments are you proud about from your team today? Oh, I, I think that uh, you know, I just told the guys, I go from where we started in January to where we are today, I think everybody in the program would have signed off on it. And, you know, it, it's okay to hurt. And obviously we all hurt. Uh, but I'm so proud of them and all that they've done. Uh, I think that obviously we're going to be playing again next week. And, um, you know, this can make us stronger. Okay, and uh, that's, that's the way we're going to handle it. I think it's interesting, and this is just the initial gut reaction. Uh, your team hung around and watched – Wingate's celebration. What's that say to you as a, about uh, say about this unit as a head coach? Well, I, I think one is they've matured a lot. Um, they're not happy right now. It hurts, and I think they wanted to see this because I think they want to see themselves, you know, celebrating in this manner here pretty soon. So, uh, no, we got a great group of guys. I love them to death. Uh, I'm so proud of everything they've done. I'm so proud of everything the coaches have done, the coaching staff has done. We'll just keep battling, and uh, I think we're going to have an opportunity to play next week, and we're going we're to gear it up and we're going to go. It's an unusual emotion because I think if you were to uh, lay out how this season has gone, playing five different quarterbacks, starting four different quarterbacks, uh, you'd be happy to be in the position to be in the championship game and playing uh, to go into the playoffs. Uh, and yet... There's that hope, that drive, that desire. Hey, you got to finish the deal and, and, and hoist the crown. Can you bottle up the emotions of being grateful for where you are, but also not being satisfied? Right. Well, we came here with intent to win the, the SAC championship, and uh, our guys laid it on the line. Uh, our coaches, you know, we did everything we could, thought we had a, a good plan, but then you got to give them credit as well. Uh, you know, it stinks, and it, kind of my whole mantra with all this time is when it's all said and done, We'll get time to reflect and think about these things. But my thought is right now is we're going to make the playoffs and what do we need to do to get better? And now all the attention then goes to next week. So uh, that's kind of how I operate. And, uh, yeah, it's emotional. It's tough. But, 
you know, when you when you go out there and you lay it on the line and you come up a little short, you know, you can I can live with that. Uh, defensively, you alluded to it earlier. Absolutely incredible. Makai Brown finishes with three sacks, sixth most in a game in school history. Got pressure on Brooks Bentley again, 12 sacks total at least. Might might have been uh, 13 depending on how uh, a play late was ruled. What can you say about the job they did, uh, forcing Wingate to to work for their well, score points? Well. You had two great defenses on the field, and uh, they battled, and they battled twice, and we won one, and they won one. So uh, I'm proud of them, and they, they showed up again today, um, and they, they played their tails off. So I'm, I'm so proud of them. Proud of Makai. Played, played, plays hard, plays hard. So I love the young man, um, and we'll just keep battling. Uh, a little under 24 hours before you find out what happens. What happens for this team over the next 24 hours as you gear up for the selection show? Uh, I, well. I have, here's the deal, we've done our part, okay? We're nine and two and we've beat Wingate, okay? We've done our part. Uh, so I'm at peace with where we're at. And uh, you know, the, the big question is who are we playing next week? Ashley, pleasure as always. We hopefully will talk to you tomorrow night. Thank you, you will. That's Carson Newman head football coach, Ashley Ingram. Back with more on the Domino's Post Game Report after this on the Eagles Sports Network.